Throughout history, the focus of America's security policy has been largely on Europe and the Middle East, but that is changing. One America's John Hines fills us in. American defense policy is in the midst of an historic shift towards the Asia-Pacific region, where most of the world's population lives and most of America's trade takes place. The person in charge of this shift for the Navy is Admiral Harry Harris of the U.S. Pacific Command. He came to Washington to remind policymakers that our vital interests lie in Asia. By the end of this century, seven out of every ten people on the planet uh, will live in the Indo-Asia Pacific. So this, this tells me that, uh, that this number of people and this amount of intellectual energy and this amount of capital and this amount of resources and this amount of resource drain will affect all of us. John Hamry is the president of the Center for Strategic and International Studies, a defense policy think tank that hosted the Admiral. Hamry says that our shift toward Asia is necessary and historic. 2012, in the president's statement that we were going to pivot to Asia and later rebalance to Asia, reflected a fundamental change in American security policy, a 360-year change in American security policy. Asia is now our first priority. The historic rebalance to which Hamry refers has created tensions with Asia's largest country, China, and particularly islands in the South China Sea that China has built and claimed as sovereign territory. Admiral Harris says he recently told the Chinese in meetings that the islands are a problem. During our discussions, uh, I, I made clear my view, my personal view, uh, that th those islands uh, do not belong to China uh, and that the land reclamation activities were uh, increasing uh, the tensions in the region uh, and that the Chinese actions, in my view, were provocative. Admiral Harris pointed out, however, that China has been generous with humanitarian aid in several emergencies. Nevertheless, if the rebalance continues as planned, by 2020, 60 percent of Navy and Air Force assets will be based in the Asia-Pacific area, making increased tensions with China more than likely. John Hines, One American News, Washington.